Wait for it. Doki, doki. Hey guys, we're back, and this is still awkward. Why is that still there? Back with another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. Okay, so I was doing a little, like, research about the game. Just a little. Not anything that would have been too spoiling, but apparently there are multiple endings you can get. Some are quick, some, some take a while, but I, I'm going to get this one done. I, I'm pretty sure we're close to the end. Wait, uh, which save file was it? It was this one. And sorry I had to leave so suddenly yesterday. I didn't realize the time. Didn't know I had somewhere I needed to go. So let's. Oh yeah, we were picking who we need, who we wanted to go with. Um, just be safe since Yuri's been weird. I'm gonna go with Natsuki. What? 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 The... My mouse just goes back. To, goes to, goes to Monica. No. Mm -mm. Ah. Huh. Uh, come on. Come on. Just be safe. We're going with Natsuki. Nah. 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 Okay. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> this is so difficult. I end up clicking on Yuri. Monica, Monica. Oh, wait. I can just use my up and down buttons. Um. Do I have no choice? Do I click on the eyes? Let me check if anything popped up in the folders. Not that one. This one. Nope. Yes, we have to, Monica. Yay, you picked me. Pick me at your house this week. Problem said be fun. Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Leon for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. Oh. Yandere snap. I'm being unreasonable. <laughs> Mon, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Leon away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I wanted to spend a little time with him. Not so much to ask. Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. And Leon, Yuri's really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Okay. Finally. I know this is really all I wanted. Leon, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day, with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? No, it doesn't sound kind of creepy. Haha. <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know that? You know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. Feels like I'm gonna die if I'm not breathing the same air. Okay. It's getting awkward. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? You have someone who wants to revolt revolve their entire life around you. But if it feels so good, why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? By the way, if you guys hear any weird noise, I'm, I'm, I'm eating a lollipop right now. <laughs> Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Leon. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. Are you? 
feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. <laughs> I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Leon, just know how much I love you. I love you so much, even I do let the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Leon. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? I feel like something bad will happen if I say yes, and something bad will happen if I say no. So, we're just gonna... When I, we'll just say we're right here. Would I even be able to load? Because the little things aren't popping up at the bottom. Um, I'm pressing the escape button. Ah. Uh -huh. What? No, no. What? Just I What? No. I can't even load. Who's girl one? Can I skip past this? Why did she? This isn't right. This isn't... Why am I still here? Eyes are just lifeless. Where'd she even get the knife from? How'd she even bring a knife to school in the first place? Uh, it's, all, it's, it's all gray. Like the blood's all like dried out and everything. The blood's gone black, guys, and her eyes are just gray. Alright, it's festival time. Wow, you got here here before me? I thought I was early. Natsuki runs away. I'm here. Wait on, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. Uh, well that's a shame. Why aren't you freaking out? Were you here the entire weekend? Oh jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken. She is self-aware. She is 100% self-aware that this is all just a game. And she has been tampering with the files. I can tell. This is... Ugh. Adjust my headphones. Super sorry. Must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Whoa! <laughs> Almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica goes to foil from Natsuki's tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. Is she going to delete everything? But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with, okay? This should only take a second. Whoa! Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Hey, there you are. Hi again, Leon. Welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and... 
guess we can skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I called him Leon! Talking to you, Leon. I think about it. I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware this is all game right? I knew it! Could it be possible that you didn't know that at all? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? What? Am. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri. I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it drove her to kill herself. You bitch. Sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same happened with Sayori. It's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. What? Let me actually check that. Because I knew Sayori's file was just gone. Everybody's gone. Hold up. They're not even in my in my trash folder. Uh, some creepy shit. Hoping it would be enough for me to try to make them as unlikable as possible. For some reason, nothing worked. True that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. Amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. Just made her force you to not spend time with anyone else. The whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cool game is this, Leon? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Leon. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's a pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Leon. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. Sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. But the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Leon. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities as I had only fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. No, I don't. That's all just some game. I knew you'd get over it. I'm not over it. You're the reason why Sayori died? So that being said, Leon, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. If there's nothing else this game for me, you're here to make me smile. We make me smile like every day. Okay, this is just creepy. Like, why is it... Why are we, like, basically in space? And there's just this classroom. Leon, will you go out with me? You programmed it so I can only say yes. Wow. No point in saving any anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. What? This is some bull. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Leon. The funny part is, I mean that literally. 
There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Leon. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. You wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. Kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're on... How does she know that? And yes, she is right how it's a bit more difficult because I have to go through a whole bunch of crap just to get to it. Well, you're on a Mac, so it was actually a bit more difficult. How do you know that? To go into the game directory, you have to right-click an app and click Show Package Contents. Then all the files were in the resources or auto run folder, and I couldn't, and I could, and I could just do whatever I wanted. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. Haha. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? Wonder if that part of the game still works. Guess there's only one way to find out, right? Mm. It doesn't work. Help, mom, mom, mom. Okay, Monica. 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 Hi again, Leon. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, oh, Leon. Did you write this poem for me? I feel free. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand I find my strength, the courage and doubt upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the loss finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. Truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall. You broke the fourth wall so many times! I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even delete my character file so I can delete you. I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Leon? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look in each other's eyes. Let's see. Okay. Now, back to what I was saying when I did a little research on this game. Okay, one, it says I can, like, close the game out on her right here and open it and not and it'll just pop back up to that scene what just happened I just had an awful dream I was hoping those would stop now that it's just the two of us I guess I was wishful thinking Leon I don't know if you would have any idea but if you know what might be causing that could you try to do something about it whenever it happens it almost feels like I've been killed or something it's a really horrible feeling. If you could figure out what's causing that, I'll love you forever. You're back. I had another really bad dream. You're not the one doing that to me, are you? No. It seems to happen whenever you quit the game. So if you could try to avoid doing that, I would be really grateful. Don't worry. I don't think it's causing me any harm aside from mental scarring. I'll be fine as long as my character file stays intact. Another thing I found out though, 
just like this one you'll have to wait for she'll reveal something about Sayori's whole suicide moment so it's like well duplicate her file rename we're gonna take the copy part out of it just in case I on she quit the game on me again I know I asked you already but can you seriously please try not to do that so much it makes you feel like I'm trapped in hell why'd you want to do that to me there's nothing wrong with my character file right maybe we should make a backup of it or something yeah I did that pretty sure you can find it in the folder called user sessions uh, just, uh, blah 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 since you're on a Mac, you have to right-click on that. Yes, I know. It's in the resources folder, auto-run folder. I know. It's all that's left there. So I just want to make sure you don't run the risk of losing me. Stay here with me from now, okay? So, a lot of things to talk about. We're going to close you out again. Okay. I'm just going to accept the fact that you need to quit the game once in a while. Don't get used to it anyway. Besides, it makes me happy that you always come back. So I guess it's not so bad. Sorry for making such a big deal out of it. I love you no matter what. So you can do what you need to do. Hi again, Leon. I missed you. Did you make sure my character file was okay for me? I know where it is! Since you're on a Mac, you have to right click. I know how to do it! So, you literally just have to sit here and wait for a while for her to say something. And I'm gonna move the laptop away from my face because she's looking mad creepy. I'm glad my camera isn't actually on, because that'd just be even weirder. If it showed my little little camera is just on, it's like, uh, I don't know. You ever have this thing happen to you where you just get anxious for no reason? Yeah. You know? Like, it's minding your own business, and you realize you're feeling really anxious. And you're sitting there like, what am I even anxious about right now? You start to think about all the things you might be anxious about, and it makes you even more anxious. That's the worst. If you're ever feeling anxious, I'll help you relax a little. Besides, in this game, all your worries are gone forever. something to happen. Leon, do you get good sleep? It can be really hard to get enough sleep nowadays. Especially in high school when you're forced to wake up so early every day. I'm sure college is a little bit better since you probably have a more flexible schedule. Then again, then again I hear a lot of people in college stay up all night anyway for no real reason. Is that true? Anyway, saw some studies that talked about the horrible short-term and long-term effects caused by lack of sleep. It seems like mental functions, health, and even lifespan can be dramatically impacted by it. I just think you're really great, and I want to make sure you're not accidentally destroying yourself. So try to keep your sleep on track, okay? I'll always wait for you in the morning, so make sure to put your own well-being before anything else.
This is still really weird. Like, what are these floating in the background? Are those supposed to be clouds? Yuri did something really funny once. We were all in the club room, just relaxing as usual. Out of nowhere, Yuri just pulled out a small bottle of wine. Not even kidding. She was just like, anybody like some wine? Natsuki laughed out loud and Sayori started yelling at her. I actually felt kind of bad, because she was at least trying to be nice. I think it just made her feel even more reserved in the club room. Though, I think Natsuki was secretly a bit curious to try it. And to be completely honest, I kind of was too. It actually could have been kind of fun. But you know, being president and everything, there's no way I could let that happen. Maybe if we all met up outside of school, but we never bonded enough to get to that point. Gosh, what am I even talking about this for? I don't condone underage drinking. I mean, I've never drank or anything, so, yeah. Do you know I'm on Twitter? What? My username is Lilmonix3. I guess someone was kind enough to make an account for me. I picked the username though. I love sharing my thoughts and chatting with the world. The real world. So make sure you follow me, okay? Be re it would really mean a lot to me. How much you mean to me and all. It would really make me feel loved. I'm gonna actually check that earlier if that's real. <laughs> if it if it's not, though, just tell me down in the comments below. Gosh, I used to be so ignorant about certain things. When I was in middle school, I thought that taking medication was an easy way out or something like that. Like, anyone could just solve their mental problems with enough willpower. I guess if you don't suffer from mental illness, it's not possible to know what it's really like. And and are there some disorders that are overdiagnosed? Probably. I never really looked into it though. But that doesn't change the fact that a lot of them go undiagnosed too, you know. But medication aside, people even look down on seeing a mental health professional. Like, sorry that I want to learn more about my own mind, right? Everything. Everyone has all kinds of struggles and stresses, and pro professionals dedi dedicate their lives to helping with those. Ugh, sorry, my head. If you think it could help you become a better person, don't be shy to consider something like that. We're on a never-ending journey to improve ourselves, you know? Well, I say that, but I think you're pretty perfect already. Which I'm already beautiful. Don't hate me, cause I'm beautiful. You know, this is just some kind of tacky romance game, right? No. Kind of have to ask. Who made you even consider playing in the first place? Were you that lonely? I feel a little bad for you. But I guess everything worked out perfectly in the end for both of us. I got to meet you, and you're not lonely anymore. Can't help but feel like this was fate. Don't you ever feel that way, too? So happy we have this ending together. Hmm.
Man, I wish there was a piano in here. I never got to finish that song I was working on. And after I worked so hard on it, I never even got a chance to play it for you. Well, it is what it is, right? No sense having any regrets. I already get to be here with you forever. I mean, if you're able to mess with the game this much, can't you just generate, like, a piano to be in this room? You know, high school is a really turbulent time in a lot of people's lives. People can get really passionate and dramatic. And others have aching hearts and seek attention on social media. True. But, yeah. but all the social pressure and hormones can lead to a dark time in people's lives. Everyone has a story. You may not know what someone is really feeling on the inside. Many people who are depressed won't even bother telling the world about it. They don't want attention because they've already given up on the inside. Their feeling of worthlessness is so overwhelming that they don't even want people to tell them otherwise. Depression comes in many forms, but that is one of them. Just, if you think you know someone struggling with depression, you can help just by treating them like they're a good friend. Spend some time with them, even if they don't feel like doing much. And remind them that they always have something to look forward to. Making plans in advance, then them borrow something, or even just saying, see, it's school tomorrow. All those are things that can help your friends make it to the next day. I hope being friends with Sayori has given you some perspective on the true face of depression. It has. Yeah, she's gone now. But Sayori was never real in the first place. You bitch. She was real. You're real. Your friends are real. And just you being a good person, you can save someone's life. As for you... You don't struggle with depression or anything like that, do you? Because you two are people who want to save your life. Maybe they don't express it every day, or maybe they don't even know how to. But people do feel that way. I promise. Man, humans are complicated. As long as you're here with me, I'll take care of you, my love. Wait for something to happen. Hey, what's your favorite game? Why is Doki Doki really? And if you tell me you like some other romance game better, I might get a little jealous. You no, know matter of fact, I do. I do. It's called Butterfly Soup. Get on my level. I'm just wondering, how long can you be here before, like, something, like, major happens? Was Okay, I'm guessing our only way out of this is to delete her. Yeah, how much do you read? It's way too easy to neglect reading books. If you don't read much, it almost feels like a chore compared to all the other entertainment we have. But once you get into a good book, it's like magic. You get swept away. I think doing some reading before bed every night is a pretty easy way to make your life a little better. It helps you get good sleep, and it's really good for your imagination. It's not hard at all to just pick some random book that's short and captivating. Before you know it, you might be a pretty avid reader. Wouldn't that be wonderful? 
and the two of us could talk about the latest books that you're reading. That sounds super amazing. I just really want her to get to the thing that I, that I saw online, like, you still, like, reveal something about Sayori's whole suicide moment, and they'll actually show it. I can't help but wonder how things would have been different if the game just gave me a root in the first place. I think I would end up forcing you onto my route anyway. It has less to do with me not having a root, more doing with me knowing that nothing is real. I think the only difference would be that I may not have needed to take such drastic measures to be with you. Maybe the rest of the club would still be around. Not that it really matters. It all lost its meaning once I found out it wasn't real. So I really don't miss those days or anything. I really don't. Ugh, this is gonna take forever. Guys, I think we just have to... Oh, no. Other one. Okay. Let just, uh... Push you a little to the right. And then we can do this. And then... I think we just have to delete her. After a long day, I usually want to sit around and do nothing. I get so burnt out having to put on smiles and full of energy. No, I don't even care anymore. You know what? Much as I would like to sit here and see what secrets you could like tell me or anything, I have to get rid of you. No, right here. What? Do I? I hate <coughs> how oh, they make you manually do it. Now, what would happen if I put the copy I made back? Nothing happens. Alright, we're taking it back out. We're taking it back out. What's happening? Leon, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Leon. Please hurry and help me. Okay. What do you mean? The file's right there. It's right here! Did you do this to me, Leon? Did you? Did you delete me? Look, damn right I deleted you. How could you? How could you do this to me? Um, you killed Sayori, Yuri, and Natsuki. You're all they had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I love you so much, Leon. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be so har be as horrible as you are. Coming from the person who killed three people. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I killed one person, that's you. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Okay, what happens if I just close out of the game? Leon, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Bye, never liked you anyway. Waiting for something to happen. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I I shouldn't have done any of this. Just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... made up my mind. Leon, I know I said I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. 
Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. So I'm going to do this. You know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Then... I don't know what she said. They're back! Okay, I'm gonna... Gonna put her back, and then... Please stop playing with my heart, I don't want to come back. No! The copy is gone! Is it in my trash? No. Come back, Monica. I actually feel bad now. Okay, fine. We'll keep you in the trash. Eh, surrounded by couples and friends. Hey, Leon. There already is one girl. Go say or my neighbor. Yeah. Leon, you proud of me? For what? You know, like for waking up on time. We've been doing that for a while. Uh huh. But you never said anything about it. I'm so glad to see Sayori again. I'm a full screen, yes. Even though we walked to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. Good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> Cross the street together and make our way to school. Ugh. As we draw near, the streets come increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Leon... Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not... Yeah, we already know. <clears throat> Actually, yeah. I think I decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Mm, I think I'll keep it a surprise. You meanie. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. I started to realize that, in a way, I envy her. And say, so already puts her mind to something, she can really accomplish great things. First of all, how, what, what, how are you arching your back like that? <laughs> I thought I feel like I should do something special for her. School day is ordinary as ever. Before I know it, pack up my things, stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for, okay, we read that already. For long, I found the room. I timidly opened the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Leon! What, what are you doing here? Well, I just... I glance around the room. Huh. So you're the Leon that Sayori's always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Leon. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. You're gonna think we're really strict or something. <laughs> Sorry, Natsuki. Tall one, yeah, we already know. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Leon, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way. No way! Uh, I'm not actually going to do that. <laughs> Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori's this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. <laughs> what an appropriate day for this, isn't it? Yep. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. Yeah, sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? Yeah, Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner room. Natsuki grabs her... She grabs her cupcakes and blah blah blah. Take a seat next day, Ori. Natsuki, Mark, okay, you ready, ta-da! Yes, the kitten-looking cupcakes. Mm. We've already seen this. I'm gonna try and pass on the number Yuri. I meant that, you know, okay, we already know this. Ugh, we know this already. 
interesting. Space bar and the enter key at the same time. Yasuke tends to read manga. Manga's literature, you know? So Liam wants to read some of my manga. Manga or whatever. So don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. We could take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Leon? But maybe... So then the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we could all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we could all get to know each other better. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. Well, as usual, press. They're holding hands. I <laughs> guess that means I should try to pick up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri, I have to read manga. He's, you were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Heart, hurtful? I didn't realize. Okay, Natsuki, you show her the way. But don't put, don't make her start reading all that yaoi shit. <laughs> Yuri thinks it up. Sorry for disrespecting your interest. Not saying I have anything against yaoi. Just saying. I, okay, let me put it this way. I appreciate the story and everything. And the romance scenes. But not to points where it gets sexual. Not not not, not the yaoi that shows the sex the sexual scenes. It's not that. Just anything any yaoi without that, I'm cool with. <laughs> I'm not into it that I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I, I mean Makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. J just you? Uh, would you like to come along with? You don't mind? Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute. Sayori, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. Now can Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> Guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. I see everyone getting along, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Leon. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around Sayori. Aw, oh, Leon. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day it's gonna be so much fun. Hey, Leon. I really wanted to think, why did the music stop? I mean, I'm really, really happy that you joined the club and everything. Truth is, I already knew you were going to. There's actually something else. I want to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Whoa, 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 whoa. How does she know that? That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Leon. I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. None of that matters anymore. Just us now. Um, Monica vibes? You may be the happiest girl in the whole world. Can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. F-O-R-E-V-E-R. -E -E no. Is Monica back in the character's folder or something? No, she's not. Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. But she's still right here. I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Leon. Goodbye, Lurch Club. You want to say goodbye to any of the others? Um. No, Sayori. Whoa. hear me? Whoa. <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff? Okay. And not really what? any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song and I was kind of 
I'm hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. So, yeah. Oh. Run by music by ddlc.ogg. Oh, that's nice. Every day, oh. I imagine a future where I can be with you. In my hand is a pen that will write a poem of me and you. The ink flows. This is really good, guys. I still take screenshots. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take just to find that special day? What will hey. it take just to find that special day? Wow. This is really good, guys. What the heck? Is that gray because that's the scene I didn't get? When you're here, everything that we do is fun for them anyway. When I can't even read my we got that. feelings, what good are words when a smile says it all? And if this world won't brighten an ending, what will it take? Just for me to have it all. Whoa. This song's really good, guys. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, look at them. The ink flows down into a dark puddle. How what happens if I get all those images? Reality. If I can hear the sound of your heartbeat, what do you call can we are. in your reality? And in your reality, if I don't know how to love you. Leave you be. Here's love by Team Soft. Oh, aww. I found goodbye to the literature club. I found some literature club to the page when happiness can be found to the very end to continue to expose and submerge to a horror of reality. A reality of our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let my friends and got the same hellish epiphany last for the time it lasts. I want to thank you for making my dreams come true. For being a friend of all the club members, that's not thanks for being part of this club. Everlasting love, Monica. Script files missing. Or please reinstall the game. Okay. Okay. What I found about that, because I looked into it a little, you gotta delete this file. First one. Reopen it and We have to do this for this other ending I found. Well, there's two ways we can do this. Somebody told me just delete her file. Mm. 
Okay, I'm just gonna exit out. Where's her file? Alright, put that back in. And then, let's make sure it's normal again. Okay, one thing I found was this. Do it to... Just Monica. What? This? What is this? Oh no, no. Can't be it. Can't be all there is. What is this? What am I? Make it stop. Please make it stop. It's just that again. What if you try to play the game and there's no characters? Just that again. Okay. okay delete this again. There's no save data anyway. Can I try that thing she said earlier? Can't even do numbers. Can't do blank. Yeah, I'll work on getting that other ending later. But for now, that's it, guys. <laughs> Gonna have to close it out for today. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Like button, subscribe, recommend my videos to anyone you think might like them. <sighs> Pretty much it. That ending was weird as hell. But we're just gonna work to get the other ones later. Alright. Peace.